Ooh. Let's see here. What is up, guys? And I hope you guys are having an incredible Monday. I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me for tonight's weekly live Q&A. As you guys know, or you may not know if you're new, every single Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am here with Tank. You guys see my little Frenchie in the background. And we're here to answer all of your questions with gut health, create a community. So if you guys are just hopping on or if you're new, do not be shy. I want you to head over to the chat bar. I want to, you to put your name, where you're from, what is up, Sammy, and all of your questions you guys have for me in terms of gut health, immune system. It could be about hair, skin, and nails. Whatever it is, throw the questions at me. Let's see what I got going. My dad told me the other day, he's like, I haven't seen one question you weren't able to answer. So Let's see if that's possible. But I just want to say again, thank you guys for joining tonight's live. I see we got a bunch of people on. So head over to the chat now, throw your name, throw your questions, gut health, wellness, hormones, and we are going to get started right now. Sammy, what do you got for me today? Let's see here. Awesome. Ooh. And so I have so much why you guys are going, because I know you're putting all those questions over there. Um, why you guys are going, I wanted to let you guys know, um, I have some great things that are actually planned for you guys. And I want, I want your help. So right now I have a whole series on gut health that I just put up for you guys. And two weeks ago, we did a whole talk on five causes of leaky gut and how a lot of people don't know if, you know, you have an underlying digestive issue and you may think it's not digestive related, but it really is. So if you guys have issues with weight loss, gas, bloating, um, if you are getting older, hitting menopause, if you've been following a very processed diet, high in sugars, um, you get a lot of cravings, go check out that video I just put up a week ago by five causes of leaky gut, five easy steps to improvement. You'll be surprised. Um, with a lot of my clients, they come to me for fat loss. When I hear different things about, you know, they were on antibiotics and we get acid reflux and all of these different things, what's able to happen is I end up focusing on gut health and they start losing weight instantly because our gut is linked to our brain, our vagus nerve. It's not about calories in versus calories out when it comes to fat loss. So I'm heading over here. We got Erica throwing some questions at us. So Erica says, please, is apple cider vinegar good for gut health? So first off, Erica, I want you to go watch my video I put up yesterday. It is on my number one, the best probiotic food, okay? I want you to go check that out. I talked in there about histamines. I talked in there about probiotics, who should not be on it. And it goes similar with apple cider vinegar. So, so go watch that that video, Erica, leave a comment. Let me know if you have more questions, but apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar is incredible. The clients or the type of people that I see have issues with it is apple cider vinegar. If you get it, you want to do the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. It has the mother in there, which is that probiotic, that little kind of spidery looking thing in there. And if you have SIBO or you have more histamine sensitivity, or even if you have a very diminished gut like microbiome, so you've been on a lot of antibiotics, we got a lot of dysbiosis, a lot of inflammation, a lot of issues, I would say that is not a first start. You want to first start with everything, guys. With um, I, When I get a new client for gut health, I look at everything and I look at lifestyle, how many times a day we're eating, are we snacking? All of these affect our, our insulin, our migrating motor complex. I look at where we see section. So Erica, apple cider vinegar is phenomenal. It has incredible health benefits, not just for your gut, your insulin, everything. But sometimes people need to focus more on the gut healing aspect first before going to something like the apple cider vinegar. So Erica, really go check out that video I talked about, um, the one that I put up yesterday on the best fermented food for probiotics, because I dove a little bit more in there about how to heal the gut and 
I also have a new video coming up for you this week, Erica, and it's my top five mistakes that um, I made and I see a lot of clients making when it comes to healing the gut that people don't talk about. So if you guys do deal with digestive issues, I got a whole series right now on gut health. We got the leaky gut last week fermented. This week, we going for gut health mistakes. So I'm going to go to our next question. If you guys are hopping on, I want you guys to let me know where you're from. Let me know any questions you have. All of these lives I save, and I'm here every Monday at 5 p.m. So click the share button, invite some of your friends. Let's have a community here. You, me, we got baby tank. We doing this. So, oh, and if you guys are new to following me, where am I going? My name is Elizabeth. I am with Elizabeth Ayler Fitness. Um, I have my four-year degree in kinesiology, CSCS. I'm a holistic nutritionist, GAPS practitioner. I had severe SIBO, H. pylori, adrenal burnout. I was overweight 200 pounds on tons of antidepressants, then got an eating disorder. And then I spent a long time getting my period back after losing it, healing my gut. So I have my whole story saved in a playlist. Check it out. My story with SIBO. And I'm just here to share all of the knowledge, everything that I learned. And maybe there's something that, you know, helps you guys that a little missing link that takes your health to the next level. So we're here every Wednesday with a brand new follow along workout every Sunday, a new nutrition topic and everything on hormones, gut health, insulin resistance, collagen, hair, skin, nails, beauty, you name it, everything wellness. So we're going back to the questions. Let me go through. So Erica, is it okay to have summer fruits? Absolutely, Erica. I highly suggest if you guys have fresh local, that is always the best. The one thing I say, Erica, is when you are doing fruit, you don't want to just have a bowl of fruit, okay? Fruit is just the sugar, the carbohydrates. You're going to spike the insulin. You're going to have an up and a down. Do something. Um, I have my morning breakfast smoothie on my YouTube channel if you just Google it. And you'll see the way I take you guys through a whole setup of how to create that perfect meal to stabilize your blood sugar levels, to help you reach your goals in terms of body recomposition, the benefits of different ingredients, I highly suggest when, you know, when I have my fruit, I am having it with protein and fiber because that is going to help com complete the meal, stabilize my blood sugar levels, the protein, the fat, the fiber, fill it up. So go check out my morning smoothie recipe. It is the perfect smoothie. I do it every single day um, to literally help with hair, skin, nails, body recomp. There isn't one person that hasn't liked my smoothie. It's so good. Um, let's see. Sammy says, thank you for everything. I always appreciate it. And thank you so much, Sammy. Let me know if you've tried any of my workouts or recipes. Um, Sammy says, what herbs do you take for SIBO? So this, I can't dive into it because I would need to be working with you one-on-one -on -one and know more about you and the type of SIBO. I will say the number one thing I see people do wrong is that they don't figure out what the underlying cause of their digestive issue is. And then they try to just take a standard protocol that they find online. There's two types of SIBO. You got the hydrogen, you got methyl. You have to see what one you are. There may be an underlying, you know, we don't have a gallbladder, so we're not emulsifying the fats. It's about figuring out what the start of the cause and what is going on so that you get the right herbs because you don't want to change your gut microbiome and kill off things if you don't know that you have something or for what you have it for. So if you guys ever do need help, you could send me over. I put my email below and I would love to help you. We can do a consult and go from there. Um, Erica says, thank you. Will the gut video is new to you? Yeah, so Erica, I have a full playlist called Digestion. If you just click it, you don't even need to be watching my videos. You can put your headset in and listen to it like a podcast. And if you binge listen to those, that's everything that I've learned so far. Well, that I put out there so far in terms of digestion. And you can let me know if you guys have any questions. I go through all the comments on my videos. Let's see here. Lori says, love the electrolytes. Thanks for the recommendations. Oh my God. I got to share something with you guys. So hold on. Don't drop off. I got these in the other day. Wow. 
So guys, so with summer coming around, it is hot. And I know we all, you know, you may notice you start getting cravings, headaches, feel like you don't have a lot of energy, feel like you're just chugging water and it's going through you. The key right now that has transformed me, or if you're even low carbohydrate guy doing low carb diets, electrolytes. These electrolytes I am obsessed with. They have literally been game changer, but they just put out their limited edition grapefruit salt. What I've been doing is I get those little popsicle molds and I will do the grapefruit salt and I'll mix it in my water, put some frozen fruit in there and you can do it with the raspberry one, the watermelon one, pour it in the molds. And these, I do one to two packets a day. They're game changer to keeping your energy up to replenishing your sodium, potassium, magnesium. These get depleted due to stress, intermittent fasting, um, low carb diets, sodium restrictive diets. Sodium, potassium, magnesium are literally like your electric switches in the body. They turn you on. When I had a few sips of this, I felt like the Energizer Bunny. I truly did. But if you guys would like to try them out, I do have a link for you guys. And I will put it right below in the description. And you guys with any order could actually get a free eight sample pack with all of them to try. And I have a recipe on my YouTube for you guys called my hot chocolate recipe using the chocolate one that's in there. And then the raw one does not break a fast. So I do that one every day fasted. But if you guys want to try them out, I have a special code for you guys. I will put it below in the details. And I want to know if you guys do get them, comment and let me know how you feel. Let me know the recipes that you guys try because I'm always up for learning more different types of recipes. And then we could share them and have a whole community of recipes. Oh, and that being said, before I go into the next question, if you guys are not in my Facebook community, I have a private Facebook group. I'm there every single day, tons of education. We cover a different topic. Last week was protein with recipes. This week, it's everything on gut health. So if you guys do have Facebook and you want to join my Facebook group, I will put all of the information to join below and you just got to click and I will be putting everyone in. So I hope to see you in my Facebook group. But we're going back to the question. Shoot your questions over in the chat box, guys. I'm scrolling through right now. Lori, by the way, you got to let me know if you try out those popsicle recipes. Let's see here. Erica, oh, hey, let's see. Laura says, new follower from Kansas. Thank you for the follow, babe. And I hope you are loving everything. And if you ever have recommendations for, you know, different types of posts, different things you would like to see on my channel, let me know different topics. You said celiac disease here. Thank God for your aligning our path. Oh my God, Lauren, you're so sweet. And I just, you need to see, you need to watch this week's YouTube that I have coming up because I talked about celiac and I talked about how, you know, there's some people that are celiac and some people that just are sensitive. And a lot of times we go to the doctor and they put us on all these diets, you know, low FODMAP, cut all these foods out you know, take all of these antibiotics and stuff to get rid of the bad. But if you don't focus on healing, the holes, the leaky gut, the inflammation is still there. So anytime you add the foods back in, you get the trigger and all the symptoms back. So it's truly about healing the gut from the inside out. But Lauren, I'm so happy that everything's been helping you. And I do want to know, babe, if you ever try any of, gosh, my recipes or my tips, let me know what has helped for you. Like, I love hearing this stuff. I love when you guys um, comment and connect with me. It just, the YouTube to me, my whole, the whole thing I want to do here is I really am passionate about helping others. And I like to create that connection with people. And I feel like YouTube is a space where, you know, people really come to learn and you can't do that with Instagram and TikTok. So all the engagement the comments, literally throw it out there because that's what I just want to create a community here. There's no judgment, nothing. And I just want to give so much. That's why I'm like, if you're not in my Facebook group, if you're not following me on my Instagram and my YouTube here, 
I'm in every platform every day hammering out content for you guys. So follow me on all and I'm here. I'm here for you. I want to help you reach your goals. You, me and Tank. Um, Erica says, okay, we'll watch many of your videos. Sorry, new to you have done workouts, learned a lot. Oh, I love it. Oh, if you guys are looking for good workouts, I have a whole workout playlist. And then I also have them broken up for you guys. Ab workouts, leg workouts, upper body. This week for you, this Wednesday, a new full body cable only workout. So if you're new to the gym and you get gym anxiety, all you need is one cable and you can get the whole full body workout done. If you guys are at home and you have that total gym with the cable system, you could do the full workout there. Or if you just want to get in and out of the gym fast. So I just recorded this one this week for you guys. So make sure got those notifications on. It will be here Wednesday. And then last week I put up uh, a really, really good leg one. So go check that out. Let's see here. So we got from our time. I cannot pronounce your name beautiful, but we're from Canada. You said, I have extremely oily skin, have had bad cystic acne, recently itchy acne. And when I eat foods, you're food sensitive to chicken and eggs. I want to heal internally. Um, I would need to be knowing a lot more about you, babe. If you want to work with me, send me over an email. I put it below. It's elizabethaylorfitness at gmail.com. And I could send you more about my consults, how I do with my nutrition clients. I will say growing up, I had severe eczema, rosacea. I had scabs all over my scalp. I had um, all over my lips were raw. I used to have to use steroid creams on my face. It was, it was really bad. And I had severe digestive issues. Um, there's, depending on types of eggs that you're getting and the types of chicken, that could actually be fed soy and you could be sensitive to the soy in there. So it really depends if they're organic, if they're pasture raised, if they are fed soy, if they're GMO, um, if you're allergic to the white, you may be allergic to the white and not the yolk. So I would need to be working more with you, but I truly believe in the gut connection and that when you heal your gut, your face is the mirror of your gut. And when I healed my gut, my skin issues went away. I just wear a mineral makeup now, guys. Like I don't have, I wear a mineral makeup and that's it. And if you guys want me to though, I was thinking of doing a full video on skincare, um, different vegan, everything that I use for my skincare, foods for skin, all of that. So if you guys would like that, let me know in the comments below. If we get enough people, I will do a whole video on that for you guys. Let's see here. Eric, ah, Sarah, Sarah is one of my amazing clients. We are down inches. She's kicking butt. So proud of you, babe. And I hope you're having a great Monday. Like, I hope you have an amazing Monday. Let's see. She says, do the smoothie. It's my new favorite. And Sarah, so if you swap out the smoothie for cherries, try that. So, so, so good. So good. Love it. Okay. So why I have you guys on here, I want you guys to throw more questions, but I did kind of want to, um, I do want to answer a question because I get this question a lot and it's Elizabeth, what has been like the number one thing that has truly helped with like your digestive issues, your, your gut health, your energy and I would say, no, rewind, rewind. We backtrack. Elizabeth, what has been the, oh, wait, sorry. I'm going to pause on that. So I see Erica says, one more question. What if you had three C-sections in a total hysterectomy? Erica, I don't believe there's nothing wrong with you. I said, I've had clients. I have five clients right now that have had hysterectomies over 20 years ago. And they went to their doctors and the doctor says, um, you're too, you're not, you're too old. Your hormones are too messed up. Just deal with this the rest of your life. And through food, through lifestyle changes, fasting changes, it's all about like, it's all about the hormones. So it's about changing things with our food when we're eating, not eating all the time, getting our migrating motor complex, everything to get it moving. 
With the three C-sections, that could throw off the gut microbiome. So we got hormones with you, Erica. We got gut microbiome. And then I would like to know two more um, about like our past history. And that's what I would need to know more of. But Erica, 100%, I don't think there's... Don't ever think that because you had something done, you can't reach your goals. Everybody's body can heal. It's about your mindset and it's about getting the right program for you, for you. Everybody is, their body is different. What works for one doesn't work for the other. That's why I never get on here and say, okay, I'm going to give you your calories now. Or you know what, Erica? This is exactly what you need to do because I don't, I'm not going to lie and tell you that. And if you guys go to a coach that says you are going to lose this X amount or get X amount in this amount of time, I would run in the opposite direction because I tell my clients, okay, this is what I think we got going on. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do to get there. If I don't know it, we're going to figure it out together. And you know, I don't focus on calories. I focus on what internally is going on in that gut. And when we get the gut feeling good, the body starts transforming. So don't think you're broken, babe, at all, at all. No. And I even have clients, like I said, they come to me, their gallbladder has been taken out. They've had multiple surgeries, reconstructive surgeries. Um, I have one client who has um, titanium colon Good five inches titanium colon. She was living off of Miralax. Doctor told her she's never gonna have like a good bowel movement or not be in bloating and pain all the time. And in just two weeks, we're having three easy bowel movements a day, no Miralax. And this is with a guys a titanium chunk of her colon. We've lost inches, tons of inflammation. She is not hungry. She's satiated. No cravings. It's about resetting the gut. So if you guys ever need help, reach out to me. It's my passion. I love it. And I, I always say too, I'm like, I, I get so excited the more problems, not problems, but I get more excited the more things we have going on because it's like a puzzle piece and it allows me to use everything that I study and everything that I implement on myself to help people feel their best self. And then when they start feeling incredible, it just, I just, it, Makes me feel so good helping people. Let's see here. Sarah says, is it okay to add to your week? No, Sarah, follow the game plan. Don't add more. You can do too much, guys. You don't want to overdo it with your training. Um, let's see here. Oh, and Erica, one more thing we got working. You're 59. I have clients 58 up into 76. So we got the hormones working with you. So if you guys are going into menopause, or you had the hysterectomy and you're eating less food, gaining weight, you are have less energy, you feel like you're retaining water and you don't know what to do, what to eat because you feel like you're eating less, you're gaining weight and you're working out more, gaining weight. It's because when you start going toward menopause, your body has a shift in the estrogen and the progesterone, guys. So you become less insulin sensitive. Plus, we got other things going on, inflammation, you know, things from our diet, depending on things in the past. And the whole key is we want to get those insulin levels down and we want to get you in the fat burning zone. So there's there's nothing, Erica. Easy. If you need help, reach out. I would love to help you. You like, honestly, you sound like fun to help in a way. And I know you guys think I'm probably crazy right now, but I just I love it. Let's see here. I want to know, do you guys have any more questions for me before I hop off today? Let's see here. I do want to go over a few things before I hop off, guys. So first off, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications. Mark on your calendar every Monday at 5 p.m. I will be here with Baby Tank answering all of your questions. And even if you just hop on to say hi, I would love that. Again, I just want to create a community. And if you guys want to join my Facebook community, I will put all the information below. And it's just a great way for inspiration, support, recipe ideas. I'm there every day. And I just be covering gut health this week. So if you guys want to learn more about gut health, go join my Facebook group. And then Wednesday, every Wednesday, new workout at 1030 a.m. And then every Sunday, a new nutrition topic. So 
I got so much going, coming your way. Let's see. Lauren said, what's the most common question you get that you were going to touch on? Oh, sorry. The most common question I get is like, Elizabeth, I see you put all these things out there. What has been the number one thing that's helped with your digestion? Because you guys see that I put all these different supplements out there and stuff. And when it comes down to it, first off, when it comes to healing the gut, it's figuring out what's going on. And it's about making the changes with our lifestyle, our diet, all of that. But supplements are a great way to bridge the gap, to take things to the next level. And specifically, I have to share them with you. So my greens, and I will put free shipping. If you guys want to try these, I put it below. You guys can get free shipping on it. And then if you ever order, I do a monthly giveaway. So if you send me over to my email, over your order number, I throw in a big giveaway because I just like to share with you guys and I give away a $100 gift card to supplements every single month. So if you guys order, email me order number and I'll get you in that giveaway. But my first one is going to be, start with this one, my GI Advantage. And the reason I say this, I did a whole video guys called my top five supplements for healing the gut. I'm going to put it under in the description for you. But this product specifically, I can't, I can't say enough about it. It literally, if you have histamine sensitivity, SIBO, whatever it is, it doesn't trigger. There's quercetin in here, which acts as the natural antihistamine in the body. So it helps if you have food allergies, sensitivities. There's zinc in here, which helps with healing the gut if you're on birth control. Things get replenished. It also has all of your demulcin herbs, like your slippery elm, your marshmallow root, everything to lower the inflammation in the gut, to lubricate that gut lining. It helps with bowel regularity, lowering the inflammation. This I saw a dramatic difference with, and I'll put it below. Um, and then also my greens and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought these were a load of, you know what, because I saw everyone and their mother taking them online and coming from someone with digestive issues. I've tried every supplement out there and I would just feel like I wanted to cry when I had a digestive issue or I wasn't feeling good. And I went to the store and I bought all these supplements and then I had a reaction because I'm very sensitive. This specific green has I can't go without it. I have the little packets on it. Basically what it has in here, it doesn't just have your probiotics. It also has your prebiotics. And then it even has, I want to show you in here. It has a glycemic balancing blend. So not just does it help with gut health, it helps with stabilizing your blood sugar levels. So this is great for insulin. This is great for weight loss. It has all of your greens in here. So if we talk about gut health and we talk about energy, I don't drink coffee because I do my greens and my reds. This literally boosts the energy. All of the greens are very high in chlorophyll. That kills off bad bacteria in the gut. You think about it. If people have, you know, cancer, autoimmune, they do a lot of greens to heal. This has all the greens. It also has digestive enzymes too, which when you take digestive enzymes on an empty stomach, they act systemically to lower the inflammation and break down that food. So this has been game changer. I will put it below if you guys want to try it out. And not just, I tried all greens powders. It's this one specifically. It's what is in the blend with this that makes me so regular with my energy, with my immune system, all of that. And then healing the gut. And then I have to mention it, guys. I, I have to. Because this is the best thing if you have, if you got to go potty. And I'm talking about this one this weekend in my, um, my YouTube when I talk about the mistakes and probiotics and all of that. But this is my favorite probiotic, and I currently do two a day. And if you just take one the next day, like butter, like you have the best bowel movement. So I'm going to see if there's any more questions here. Um, I know I talk about poop. You guys know I'm, I'm all open. Um, Erica says, how much water a day? Erica, I'm going to send you over. I did a whole video on this called 95% of people drink water wrong. On my YouTube, search that in. Watch it. I talk about 
how to drink water for everything for your health because you could drink water wrong. Okay. Love it. Awesome. So I'm going to be hopping off, guys. Again, I will put everything we talked about today in the description below, the videos, supplements, my information, all of that. I can't wait to see you guys on Wednesday. I got a great workout coming your way, and I hope you guys are having an incredible Monday. And thank you again for all of your, your support. Thank you for all of your time. And I just I appreciate you guys. Without this, I wouldn't be able to do what I do for a living. And I'm just truly passionate about helping others. So share this with your friend, make sure you're a family member, and I will see you guys on Wednesday and Sunday and Monday and we back and we rolling. Love you.